So I haven't done a vlog in a while because I've been busy, been doing a lot of work. So today, like, uh, well, throughout the weekend, it's uh, I took the Saturday off because it was a uh, Memorial Day weekend. Um, my boyfriend's family, they're all military. And so they all came down here. It's kind of like a little family reunion a little bit. So I took Saturday off. We got crawfish, we were barbecuing, all that kind of stuff. It had been raining throughout the week. No big deal. It rains every Memorial weekend. But during the nighttime, it was raining real bad, but we didn't think it was that serious. Again, like, we're all drinking. We're not watching TV. We're not on our phones or anything. But all through the night, our phone, everybody's phone was going off with warnings and again we didn't take it seriously because it really ever happens so uh the next day after everybody was like you know recovering uh the cable wasn't working i mean the electricity was working but the cable wasn't working the internet wasn't working we could get on our phones but our phones were taking forever literally to load anything at all so uh, by the time we saw what was happening it was later in the night we were able to see the videos and the damage that was outside of our area I am in San Marcos right now but where I'm at there is no flooding in the neighborhood we're technically outside the city limits but San Marcos is literally you drive outside the neighborhood and you're in the city limits so <clears throat> What's going on right now, apparently we're in a tornado watch or a warning. I don't know the difference really. Again, we don't deal with this kind of stuff. Happens very rarely and we've been overdue for this kind of rain. I mean, we needed it, but we didn't need this much. <laughs> so, I'm just looking outside the window. It's kind of quiet right now, but then the wind picks up and it slows down. So I guess it's the quiet before the storm. A little bit of thunder. And sprinkling some. But I was gonna, I, we were gonna go out and see the damage throughout uh, the, the city because apparently Walmart is flooded and there was a curfew as well. There was a nine o'clock curfew yesterday. And my, hold on, my this camera's heavy. My uh, work hours were kind of cut a little bit. So I'm only working Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we don't know on what's going on. Oh, there's a warning. Whose phone is that? What does it say? Flash flood warning. Another one. Great. Great. <coughs> like I told you that. Have we gone down to that house that floods all the time? Down here, no. In this corner? It's the creek's probably dry right now. Yeah. But it'll fill up. I told you they put us in a <clears throat> You know, all those rain, my allergies are acting up, and I'm smoking a cigarette. <laughs> but I don't care. Like, there's only so much we can do right now. We can't go anywhere. Me and Puppy's getting a little scared. She's chilling by me. That's okay, Corbin. Can't take you outside. We have your puppy pads down, but we can't take you outside. I know y'all haven't seen her in a while. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Alright, get down baby girl. Get down, good girl. So yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. <laughs> no idea what time it is. We're just like watching the weather. That's what's going on. It's not really here. It's a little north of us. And it's up by Austin. We're further down, a little bit further down, a little past Buda, past Kyle. But that doesn't mean it won't hit us. Anything can happen. So, there we go. Apparently in Times Square they were advertising like people to move to San Marcos. Which is a little crazy considering like when I first uh, started dating Justin, this town was very, very quiet. Very, you know... One of those towns, very hippie-like. It was uh, kind of like a miniature Austin. So when they started 
building more here because we pretty much hit the record for uh, two years in a row, the fastest, two years in a row, fastest growing city in the nation. I think we're on year three, I don't know. But there's been like so much construction and a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people, not, not just talking about students coming in, but other people coming in to live here. And with that in mind, it's just like, if you're not, if you're thinking about moving to Texas, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's a wonderful place here. You cannot predict weather in Texas. I've lived here all my life, count, uh, excluding like one year I lived in Oklahoma. But you cannot predict the weather here. You can, but you can't because it will tell you like, oh, sunshine, be the perfect day to go out. And it, it's not. It's not one bit. So pretty much you have to take that and you have to keep that in mind. And if they tell you it's going to rain, it'll probably not rain. Or again, like I said, we weren't taking the warning seriously because we don't take the weather seriously here. It doesn't do any of this stuff. So. My poor brother's in Williamson for, for uh, Travis, and I don't know if he knows what's going on. My brother's, I'm sure he's called my dad. Hold on, can I for a second so I can get my camera in focus? Look at the baby! Oh, look at the baby deer! There's another one right here, too. Go, buddy, go! Go to higher ground. guys <laughs> like they're playing he's like i know well there's just mama's going to higher ground she knows yeah no deer are smart they have that instinct look at the sign the highway never looks like this Oh shit, it's going over the stairs. It's alright. I've never seen it look like that though. Everybody's Jam. checking it out. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to get a picture of that. Well, we'll see what's going on. Because I want to, if I can get over so to there, They said 80, there was flooding over here at Rio Vista. No, there is. That's where Rio Vista was, but the water has subsided. But all that rain that's happening north it's all going to get pushed here and that's why they have that guy standing there watching the water levels rise a lot earlier but we'll see there's red cross made it uh -huh. they were saying they were held up see earlier when we looked on the news this was, was all underwater yeah you'll see just wait
think. Ooh, that trailer. Ooh. The RV. It was up against this little, it must have got hit with water again. They're cleaning this whole area up. Sheltering people. Shit. Cops everywhere. There's state troopers too. Stop signs, dude. Let me go down there. Oh, I'll stay up here with you. Go ahead and go down there. I'm okay. Yeah, I want to go see what they're watching. Well, the alarm went off and I thought it was a tornado alarm. I've never been in a tornado before, so I heard an alarm, I grabbed my cat. My boyfriend didn't know what was going on and I just ran to the center part of the house where the bathroom is. The alarm is still going off, but apparently that wasn't a tornado alarm. There's a place called Purgatory Creek and there's a floodgate and you have like 10 minutes to get out if, there, if the alarm goes off. So. My camera's battery is about to die. The power went out here, but it's back on a little bit. But we just unplugged everything just in case because this house is filled with like very pricey electronics. So, and I shouldn't be standing next to the window, but I kind of am. Oh, God. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> hey everyone, it's. What day is it? May 26th. And uh, the rain stopped for now. Um, yesterday I had mentioned that uh, alarm that went off. And because I was so shaken up after that, like I pretty much just had to relax after all that jazz. But apparently it was a tornado siren, not the floodgate siren. So that's a little scary <laughs> that a tornado actually touched down. I mean, it wasn't really near us but considering how big those things can get i mean they, they don't get like how you hear about them like up north like in in tornado alley but they can still get pretty big and they can just the tornadoes can do whatever they want so that's a scary thing um but yeah like after last night like Pretty much it kind of slowed down. I mean, throughout the night there was a little thunder here and there, but there was no rain, so that was good. But so far this morning, it's actually a very, very quiet morning. I haven't, I have yet to check the weather today, so I should probably do that. Far it is, there's no alert, it's just the local pollen crap. <clears throat> there's nothing seen in the top there. Let me look at the next five day forecast. It's just another thing you should never depend on when you move to Texas, but you should look at anyways. It says there's a chance of rain tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. A uh, higher percentage is on Friday, and it's 80%, so we'll see what happens. So, yeah, again, I'm sorry I haven't vlogged. It's just, there's so much going on with work, and there's only so much I can do about that. You know, you work the hours I do, and then when you're home, it's like you don't want to do anything at all. I guess we'll just leave it at that and I'll just keep updating the best way I can. I might as well upload what footage I do have because there's a lot more. So, uh, those who are in Texas, I hope your family members and everything is okay. Um, if not, if if you're one of those if you're one of those victims because of the flood or the tornado. Just stay strong. Stay strong. Understand that it, the pain and all those destructions, it'll only last for so long, you know? Things will get better. Things will always get better. You just gotta keep your hopes up. Keep your hopes up and be strong. <laughs>